Damn, hell, damn. Damn. Goddamn early. Who starts a construction project in the middle of October? It's gonna snow like crazy tonight. That school was ancient when I attended it. Back in Babylonian times. <laughs> if you were alive in Babylonian times, I think the old them is me. You're an infant. You're not helping. <laughs> if you want to go get Kelly, I'll make you both a cup of tea. I can't, Ma. I can't, but thanks. I heard you. Jesus. Right before you came up, it was blasting louder than ever. Once while I was in the bathroom, and then again while I was making my tea. I would have heard it. Obviously you didn't. Ma, I was just outside. I would have heard the music. Not if it was around the other side of the building, you wouldn't. Ma, I gotta go. I, I just wanted you to know that I looked out there too, and I didn't see anyone. Look, if someone's out there, if someone is messing with you, really messing of with you. Of course there is. Well, it's just that I didn't. I know. Ma. Ma, look. Are you scared? 
Not bad. Maybe. Oh, maybe I can stay here tonight. I can sleep on your floor. <laughs> <laughs> I can't ask you to do that. You don't have to. I don't want you to stay here. The doors can be chained. The windows can be locked. No one will get in. I just wanted you to know. Hey, I've been keeping a record. Of every time. See? Tuesday, October 28th, 8 p.m. and 8.02 p.m. Uh, very thorough. You won't be of any use to me if you think I'm crazy or imagining crazy. I don't think that you're crazy. Because this is happening, Michael. Not every night, thank God, but most nights. I just wanted you to know, look, the night before. See? Uh-huh. And then there was nothing the week before? It's, it's just music, mostly. The sound of fingernails in the window glass? Jesus, Mom, why didn't you tell me that? I thought I did. You didn't. Christ, oh my Christ, that's a lot. <laughs> it's, it's music mostly, but occasionally there are other sounds. But mostly it's the music, truly dreadful music. It's, 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 it's insolent. That's what it is, insolent. Insolent and loud. Oh, the sound of fingernails on the glass. Jesus. How can you tell that's what it is? That's what it sounds like to me. Mom, listen, Mom, we can make all this go away. No, Michael. Look at me, Mom, we can make all this go away. I refuse to leave my little apartment. It's my home. If someone out there is messing with you. Then we find them and stop, and it's not rocket science. You don't need to raise your voice to me like that. You sound like me when you were a child and when you were a teenager. <laughs> it's a... It's, it's maybe time, anyway, it's maybe time anyway for you to- Go somewhere? Hmm, that's a lovely nondescript term. Somewhere? A home? Not my home. A home? You don't necessarily have to go to- We called it the manor when I was a kid. Even after your father and I were married, even after- I went back to work with you and Brian, finally moved out, finally, finally got lives of your own. Thanks. <laughs> Even then, we called it the That's where your grandmother lived for a time. I remember. You were always so scared to visit her. Brian never was. Brian never was. But you were. It was worse to see her in the home. The home. The home. Skeletons. Every one of them, they were just smell, the way their skin always seems so loose, and I, I used to think that they took it off every night, <laughs> or that they could, they could take it off whenever they wanted to, or just slide all that wrinkled, smelly skin off their bones, and there they'd be, <laughs> in the closet, in the hallway outside, in Grammy's room in the home, bare skeletons, bare, just standing there, waiting. That's not so far from the truth. <laughs> Oh, you are cute. 
You are a little skewed. I've been out there an hour. It's been ten. You're right, a full hour would be fast. It's coming down. My fault. It's natural. Oh, wicked Ruth! Not content with the tempest outside, she schemes to lure us to a gingerbread house and keep us here forever by means of. Let's see here. <laughs> tea! Oh, yes. Tea. Mm -hmm. Enchanted tea. <laughs> I did offer my it's going to take us at least an hour. I'll try. I will let it try. You will not. Uh, we, we, we were at a party before this. A little faculty get there and that's all. Oh, oh. Ex excuse me. Excuse it's the tea, just the tea. I should know better than drink it before bedtime. Uh, excuse me. Not again. Dear. Hey, Michael, listen. I'm not just look, not here. That's all. I'm fine. Sure, sure you are. I'm fine. Look at me, Michael. Look at me. You I'm see. fine. You can say that all you want. Get it, I get it. <sighs> if only we could hear it. I know. At least. Just once. I want to see something. That's what I keep thinking. If I can just see something, seeing makes it worse sometimes. Hearing it would be bad enough. She thinks she hears fingernails in the glass. Fingernails? Scratching? My god. She's losing her mind. Probably. This is an apartment building. I know. There are people, lots of other people who I live here. I know. I've talked to the super, I've even talked to other tenants. No one has ever heard the music, no one. So, she's losing her mind. I'm sorry, babe. Mm -hmm. But what if, what if she isn't? Uh, for instance, the music, the sounds. Have you talked to her about, oh, she won't move. She refuses to move. She won't move. She refuses to move. And she is a jail. I think this is too. Oh, Helen and I will live in a little house by the sea. Ruth and I will live in a stable with horses. They're our friends. We wouldn't imagine riding them. <laughs> Helen and I will live on the moon with bales of moon hay that we cut the site and eat once a day for nourishment. Bales of moon hay. You two are insane. It could be worse. It could always be worse. <laughs> Where did Joyce Veronica stay over? Stay over? Where? She could say no. She could uh, sleep in the sink, I suppose. No, she'd say no. Of course she would. She's crazy, but she's not that crazy. You're not helping. She would say no. How do you know? Have you asked? You haven't asked, have you? Oh, she would just know. Michael, do not badger me. I'm not. I'm not badgering. Your tone, Michael. If someone here is staring you, <sighs> then we find and won't care about. Huh? <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to, to help and trying to come up with solutions. That's how you solve a problem. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Yeah. Watch out, she's tricky. Kelly. <laughs> Maybe, maybe it isn't anyone. Maybe it's just a neighbor who enjoys their music louder than I do. Maybe it isn't deliberate. Maybe there isn't anything out there but night. Maybe that's worse sometimes. Sorry, sorry. I'll concede that much. Look, I do not need a roommate. I do not need someone to guard over me. You two go before the roads get too slippery. Go, dollface. I'll be fine. Go to sleep, dollface. No more tea. You'll be up all night. Yes, sir. Ruth, it's a pleasure, as always. Brief as it may have been. <laughs> I will see you at the bottom of the sea. Let's ride a wild sea horse. <laughs> Good night, Ma.
give them to me. I'm treating just like a child. Just like a fucking child. You think I want you to kill us both? Give them to me. Just like a fucking, fucking, fucking child. No. No. Not no. Gonna, not gonna fight with you. Not here. Oh, she'll hear us everywhere. Put your voice down. It's not that big of a deal. Give them to me. Fine! Take the fucking keys! Look, Mike, Michael, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus so Christ, great. come on. No, it's too close, son. 
somehow we could all sit on the floor in a circle. Isn't that how it's done? Oh, you watch too many movies. <laughs> too many movies. Are you sure you don't feel anything? I'm not a uh, fire alarm or something. I'm not a, a sensor. I didn't I have my dignity. I'm putting a small slice of tomato on that grilled cheese. You know how dearly I love a thin slice of tomato on my grilled cheese. <laughs> Paper thin, the barest hint you are, aren't you? <laughs> yes, excellent. It's so hard to leave my apartment these days. To I, try, I'll force myself to. I have Christmas shopping to do. Well, you're very brave. I don't feel brave most days. Hmm. Well, you must be to stay here. I suppose, yes. I feel it now. You do? A bit. A tiny bit. Like a little <laughs> sigh. Right now? No. No, I think this is the past. The whistling of the past. The echo of the whistling. I believe in ghosts my entire life. Oh, not me. <laughs> No, 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 not me. Not until I saw them. That's how most people are. I don't believe in something until it comes up and chops them right on the nose. <laughs> that was me for the longest time, you know. I've never seen a ghost, but I believe in that. Right We're not talking about ghosts, are we? We might be. Would you like a glass of milk? I would like a single precise finger of whiskey. <coughs> I don't have any. I don't like to keep it. My son-in-law. A pity. A pity. But not entirely surprising. Yes, milk will do. Milk will do nicely. <laughs> and the tomato. The barest hint. You think it may not be a ghost? It's music and other... I, oh, I don't know. Well... You mentioned music. I haven't heard anything in my apartment. So you said. And you think I would, wouldn't you? Ghost. Oh, you're crazy. Or I'm crazy. That shit. <laughs> that shit. I don't feel that shit. Is that how you know you're bad shit? <laughs> well, my husband brought her. I haven't told you about Roger yet. I got that. My dear late Roger. My dear, poor, poor, late, poor Roger <laughs> often accused me of lunacy, even though half the time this kind of thing was his idea. What is lunacy? I don't know, I'm sure, and I'm almost certain he didn't either. He was far, far crazier than I. <laughs> so I wouldn't worry that if I would. I do, though. I've well, lived here for 20 years. We sold the house, you know, after bravery passed. It was big, too big, I thought. Michael, nothing like this has ever happened to me. I, I, I haven't done anything. I, I don't have any enemies. I, I haven't done anything. Well, you must have done something. I haven't. Something, everyone's done something. Do you think I haven't thought about that? Listed my enemies, people who might hate me, uh, I'm an old woman now. Why would anyone hate me? Mindless, moronic evil. The worst kind. Reasonless, not rational, no rationale. Terrifying. Evil is evil. Mindless or calculated. To all what it matters less. Doesn't it in the night? When the music comes? In the dark? Then the nature of evil matters less. Yeah. It's been every night this past week, as soon as the darkness comes. Michael doesn't believe me. Oh, well, you can't expect him to, my dear. Chomp, chomp. <laughs> you are without a sandwich. You are sandwichless. <laughs> I'm not hungry. Food is fuel, dearest. Even at our age, we still require fuel. Oh, I'm not hungry. I wish you wouldn't talk like that. About food? About age. I hate that word, age. What does that even mean? I thought we were beyond our glory. You're past 
two more house definitions. You're, you're just doing it again. Hmm. Poor dear, you must be hungry. It's making you cranky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I I don't feel old most days, or I I didn't until recently, and it makes me well, it makes you angry, of course. We all are. I just used to feel useless. Ruth, if you would just have a little sandwich. Just a little sandwich or something else with a bit more nutrition. I'm not accustomed to feeling afraid. Here is it something that's deserved, dear. Everyone has it coming. We all feel it. I've worked hard all my life, so I could, so, so I wouldn't have to. Mm. Do you even know, dear? Listen. Yes. Not to me, Veronica. The apartment. Listen. No. Dearest, I have been. And well, they all make sounds, don't they? Saturating little sounds, little fingers that sounded moving, trailing up and down, up and down, almost like a song. They all have little stories, the place we did and we do our business. That doesn't mean that there's anything out there, anything coming to get you. But this sandwich is exquisite. Munster? Munster. <laughs> is it dark? Is it, is it getting dark already? It's inevitable. You can answer for everything. Well, the world does nothing but answer. Ever, sure. The sky was all purple, running together. Once upon a time, I would have thought it beautiful. I finished my sandwich. I shall go. Ruth, dears, I am not your solution. But you can stay up for a little while, couldn't you? There is nothing out there. But it could be. It will be. Soon. Soon. I wish I could have Next time. Let's try three. It melts just so. And perhaps a slightly larger slice of tomato. Veronica, <laughs> you mustn't cling so. Okay. Perhaps I can bring the ladies around. Might have to be an afternoon, though. I'm trying to say. We could attempt a cleansing. Cleansing, yes. With sage and salt. Sea salt, the good stuff. <laughs> I just purchased the most marvelous device for making coffee. Pop around tomorrow, say eight. It's Turkish. It's all glass and sexy tubes. It's simple, I swear. <laughs> well, I'll show myself out. Strong. Wrong. 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 Anything um, out there while you were uh, traveling? traveling? Yes. 
peaceful, filth, foulness, dreams deferred. <laughs> I envy you. Oh, sure. I'd love to know what people are thinking. To be able to float right through their skulls and into their brains. Well, I don't always, you know. I mean, even just the vaguest idea. That'd be good enough for me. Mm. Is it scary? Of course it is. And you do it anyway. It's well, not everyone is brimming with vileness and vice, just some people. I teach ninth grade English. I found that to be true. <laughs> oh, silly, silly boy. They're good children for the majority, and you know it. I suppose. Would you like to read their minds? No. Oh, no. Absolutely <laughs> not. No. <laughs> good. But it would be a useful skill. First dates, job interviews. I never enjoyed first dates. No, I don't imagine you would. No, I went on hundreds before my husband Rogers could me away from the troubles and trials of the everyday world. The regular kind of traveling, then. He was capable as well, maybe even more so. And we traveled together frequently. Oh, I traveled, not travel. Please excuse me. It was all so simple. We would lie down on the bed and hold hands. An anchor makes the journey safer and more satisfying, ultimately. And we would close our eyes and we would take deep breaths and we would just travel together. There were no barriers, nothing to bar our way. We were birds one time. Owls, great horned owls, if I recall. Roger loved to fly. We dined together agreeably on a family of rabbits, and it was exceptionally satisfying. <laughs> raw? I beg your pardon? The rabbits, you ate them raw? Young man, what do you suppose owls do with their prey? Roast it over a fire? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I suppose they don't. <laughs> Occasionally, we simply just, just our essences melded together, and we'd float out in the sky, or over the ocean, or just out there. Out there. The great beyond. If you like. Uh, the great beyond. The endless abyss. Floating together. I miss him. Oh dear. Oh dear, you must forgive me, Kelly. I didn't expect to feel so flooded by now. Roger? Roger. I might have touched him. Oh. Oh, please, you must remain free. We got you. <laughs> He's out there. He's waiting. And occasionally, when I travel by myself, as you've just witnessed, I think I feel him. Or I hear him. Singing our little songs. He's lonely, I think. You think there isn't time after? Well, there is. There is. They feel it more acutely than we do, the dead, the gone. It's painful for them, I imagine. That's a depressing thought. <laughs> Are you all right now? I think so. At any rate, I'm at an impasse. You mean you haven't felt whatever it is Ruth has been hearing or, or has been in contact with? Exactly. And I hesitate to tell her, but I don't think the cleansing had any effect at all. Tenants. 
Tip Tenno Smith. Yes, so. Mm, I don't. Ugh, I can't. I'm sorry, Veronica. I just don't think I'm as sensitive as you are. Oh, you are. You are. Tell Michael. I wish someone would. Mm. Veronica? Oh, shit. I didn't mean now. Veronica? Veronica. Don't do that. Jesus. Don't do that. Veronica? Hey, I Veronica? told you not to do that. What? Why do you have to embarrass me? I can't trust you. I can't trust you with anything. What's happening? Why can't you stop on your own? No. You know your history. I know your history. You know your history. What you were like it before. Why can't you just do something around this me? This isn't funny. That night you puked at the Sanderson's Christmas party? I don't know. He's department shit. He's practically my fucking boss. And you just couldn't help yourself. It just came spewing out of you everywhere, everywhere, like some fucking crimson wine volcano. You didn't think about how that might affect me? Affect us? Stop it! I'll stop you myself if you won't. Veronica, you aren't in control. You, you aren't my... I don't know which word to... It's for your own good. Veronica, you aren't in control! I love you. I do. I love you. I do. I love you. I love you. I do. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I do. I love you. Stop it! What the hell is going on? But nothing. It was it was just an experiment. Was she traveling again? She was trying to. Oh, well, I don't want to know. No. No, I don't think you do. Oh, what? Nothing. It, it, it's stupid. There. Better. Better? She's she's still gone. What did she do? It, it's silly, really. Don't freak out, right? She must have been performing a test. A test? Michael, you said you I know, you I know, I'm sorry. Oh, I forgot, I forgot. The ham, the potatoes, he left them at the bottom of the stairs when we heard you. Monica? Monica? That feels nice. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. She's fine. You, need your glass of water. I need... Yes, water would be nice, thank you. You shouldn't have allowed her to do that. Not here. Not now. It wasn't something that we planned. Um, Veronica, can you stand up? She's sleeping. I should have thought of that. <laughs> I'm sorry we were late. The rain picked up, and it was difficult for me to get in and out of the market. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be here. Here. I need something just a little bit stronger than that. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have anything. I, I suppose we could have picked something up. No, 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 no. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Michael, well, well, you know Michael. I know, I know. God, Ruth, I'm sorry. I, I never wanted you to get sucked up into all of this. I'm not sucked up into anything. We've been fighting a lot more lately. No. God, Ruth, I know you don't like to hear about these things, but I need to tell you, I need to tell you that, oh, fuck! I don't appreciate that language. I know, I'm sorry, but it expresses my feelings far more succinctly than I can, apparently. Idiotic word. Fuck, I'm sorry. Um, that's all right. We've been fighting a lot more lately, and, and it's all my fault. It really is I'm all sure my fault. It's not. No, it is. He can't stand to even touch me anymore. He can't even look at me. He can't. And it really is all my fault. Holy shit. <laughs> Please, look. Oh, leave her alone, and she'll come back eventually. So this is a habit of hers, then? To come over to your apartment and turn herself into a psychic peeping Tom? Not exactly. It doesn't happen every day. So you should have learned to mind your own goddamn business. Look, you are the one who decided to air all your dirty laundry and I knew it made you feel of uncomfortable. Of course it makes me uncomfortable. I just thought that maybe you could help me. You were wrong. Oh. Oh, Kelly, I'm sorry that came out. No, no, it's fine. 
Everything's fine. It's all peachy keen, Shelly Bean. <laughs> fine and dandy, like Christmas candy. <laughs> Oh dear, I've gone perfect to spell, haven't I? Only one spell, and you mourn, you'd be over your limit. They'd revoke your license. <laughs> <laughs> what in heaven's name? Hey, are you okay? <sighs> what was that noise? I don't know, I, I followed someone. Someone outside, and I was picking up the grocery bags, I saw him. Do you think it was? Well, I don't know, he was just... Standing in the doorway, staring up at me. I think he was homeless. I don't know how that sounds, but with a beard and I could, you know, smell him. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Sure. Let me take your coat. Oh, soaking wet. <laughs> here, here. Oh, thanks, Doc, please. Good. I look electrocuted now, don't I? <laughs> so there was a man? Is inside the building who may or may not be homeless? Who may or may not be your anonymous music lover? No, oh, he isn't. Hmm. Yeah, uh, anyway. <laughs> I chased you down the street, but he was faster than I was. Bring him a goddamn jackrabbit. You were very late. A man, just lurking there. I wish I had caught him for you, Mom. I know, dog face, I know. Uh, what about the other sound? <gasps> the sound of something being demolished? You heard it? You really did? What was it? Did you see what it was? I don't know. I was almost to your door when it, whatever it was that happened. Was it him? Maybe you ran out in front of a car. Good riddance. <laughs> Kelly. What? You know you'd be glad to be rid of him. I'm satisfied that you all believe me now. You don't, though. Veronica, please. We believe you, Mom. It isn't a he. It isn't a he or a she. It's no simple man, no simple woman. I saw, I saw poor Ruth. Oh, poor Ruth. It is coming for you. It's coming for you still. No! What the fuck is that? supernatural or a haunting like like Kel says like mom thinks I don't give a crap my mother is a good person 
I believe that. I, I, I stand by it. I was 19 when my brother Brian died. Did I say die? Die is a, that's an easy word if you say it enough times. It's simple. It covers us so much. Okay, so. Brian was murdered. After that, my father died. And then it was just mom, mate. Brian was murdered. It was stupid. And dying is usually stupid. Murder is usually stupid. I think the whole mess is stupid. That's, that's why I like music so much. I, because it, it sounds so goddamn cheesy, but I believe music can save you. Not in a heroic sense, but in the way that it starts inside you and it goes beyond you. After you're dead, the music will still, or can still be there. Brian didn't care much for music. Or if he did, he didn't make it known. Maybe pop music, whatever was popular at the time, I, I wouldn't know. I know. <laughs> I know. You're thinking, God, this guy, what a snob. What a fucking snob. I don't mean to be. I liked Beethoven and kissing boys, and Brian. <laughs> Brian was Pop's apple, uh, what's that expression? The apple of his eye. They were going to open a shop together. Not a store, not like that, not exactly. A garage, that's what it was gonna be. Brian and Pop were gonna go into business together because Brian, jeez, Brian had that act. Don't get me wrong, I have it too, but I do it with my instrument. Brian, Brian could coax wires, and cables and metal to come together and harmonize. Brian could charm carburetors and hypnotize serpentine cables. He could summon the soul of a tractor or some hulking behemoth pickup and summon him back to life. To life. I didn't understand that that was important. He was 22, and he was headed to that little convenience store down the street from the spot that he and Pop had staked out for their garage, like a stone's throw. Like, you could see it. You could see it from there. That kills me. It was so close. He was headed to that convenience store to pick up a six-pack of Coors Light for Pop, and a pack of smokes for himself, and he interrupted a robbery, and the, the robber, some, some janky little punk-ass kid younger than we were, this janky little punk-ass kid, yeah, he, he shot my brother in the face and blew him apart, and killed him. He's, he's dead. He, he was murdered. He's dead. Pop had a heart attack. The next day, super melodramatic. And, uh, and Pop Pop died.
can't sit. Do you? I shouldn't have. I mean, I probably. I mean, hi. Oh, God. It's good to see you. Thank you for, you know, coming. I miss her. She misses you, but she probably won't be back in time. I don't think she got out much. She doesn't. Have to date someone? I can't always help. I get it. I understand. Sure. It, it, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. But it still looks the same. Can I see you fix the window again? Sixteenth time's the charm. No, really? Not really, I think. Seven times? I'd cover it up. I'd put plywood up there. No, we wouldn't. Sigh. No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. When you only got one window. Oh, oh. It's not so bad during the day. Nothing happens during your day. S still? Mostly. Mostly. I thought I just heard the music. It could have been my imagination. It is almost dark. Yeah, almost. Hell. How is this thing so fucking hard to catch? I mean, the thing is so fucking hard to catch. How is that possible? I'm just gonna give up. Or I can't be here. You should make her. Make her. Yes, make her. You, you should make her move. I don't want her to live with me. Ah, shit. You didn't want her either. She's not my mother. Oh, I forgot. Your mother's only in her what, mid-50s? Fine, you're, you're right. How is she, you know, otherwise? How do you think? Well, that's why I... Oh, fine. She's nearly 83 now. I'm not acquainted with any other women of this certain age, so I'm not especially certain if this 83 is the 83. Is this how women who are 83 always act? I don't know. At least, at least you know what's real? Small comfort. Cold comfort, which is better than at all, I guess. I guess. Uh, look, I, I when did I you first start to? <laughs> uh, uh, you go. When did you first start to hear the music? The last time I was here by myself. I paid for this nurse. Only she doesn't she doesn't like to be called a nurse, and not doesn't want to call her a nurse. So companion, sure. Companion. So I send them out with her companion to the theater, to the opera, to the ballet, to do things that she likes to do. That you don't like to do so much? <laughs> just the symphony. So I send Ma out with her companion and I wait. I've been doing it for two years, not every night, but a few nights a week. Jeez. Just to see, you know, what will happen. And for a while, nothing did. And then last week, it did. Was it like she said? I didn't see what she, you know, what she said. She, the thing, the motherfucking thing. I didn't see it, but I heard the music. Dim, far away though. It wasn't as loud as she said, but it was definitely there. It was a drum, a guitar, an awful, awful sound. Like, like fingernails down a chalkboard. That sounds never bothered. <laughs> Like when cotton balls rub together. <laughs> I ran outside to see if there was anyone, but there wasn't. I didn't hear it again until just now. That's horrible. And, uh, and there's been nothing like that for, I mean, you, no, oh, nothing's happened to you? No, no, I'm okay. nothing to me. Okay. Yeah, we're, everything's just fine with us. Yeah? Good, good. That's, that's good. I don't want to. Oh, God, Michael. Don't have to talk about this. <laughs> Small talk. <laughs> Listen, trees. <laughs> hey, um, I, I was just afraid it was contagious or something. Ghost is STD. Uh, I, I don't think it's a ghost. Monster is STD? That makes it worse somehow. Monster is a word for it, alright? You can see for yourself. I can see for a book. I mean, God, I couldn't believe it myself, but there it is. That, that face. It's human, or humanoid. It has eyes and nose and mouth. Shark's eyes, razor nose, lipless mouth, monster mouth. Try it, 
cameras for years. Of course I did. Right? This is like super deluxe high tech motion sensors, night vision, the works. I've been trying for two months, and I got these last night. Michael, think her move. Get a court order if you have to. I can do that. Michael, look at the hands on this thing, that face. It is only a matter of time before it breaks in that window completely and gets inside. It's only five minutes time and you know it. Mom insisted. Oh, okay. fuck that, fuck. Look, that thing is going to get in here and when it does, it is going to kill your mother. You don't know that. Goodbye, Michael. Oh, no, 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 right, I'm sorry. Look, I'm trying to get her out of here for four years. She won't leave, all right? She wants to stay. Maybe she doesn't know what she wants. Her mind is intact. Oh, what a lovely, bloodless wish. Shut up. I'm sorry. Would shut up. She doesn't have Alzheimer's or dementia or, or, or whatever. She's as sharp as she was when she graduated from pharmacy school, when she was the only woman in her class, when she had to fight and scrap, tooth and nail. She told me, tooth and nail. Well, she's still that woman. So if she wants to stay, she stays. And the fact that you don't want her intruding into your perfect single existence plays no part in this decision? I didn't ask to do one. Oh, you're right. That's unfair. I'm sorry. Forget everything's my fault. Good night, Michael. Fine, right, you want to help? Oh, get out. what could I possibly do to... I'm not going to do this anymore. Goodbye. I thought you were going. I am. But? But, what, do you think I'm... I care about her too, I love her. But she isn't your mother. Do you think I want something to happen to her? She isn't your mother. Oh, you're right, my father is still alive. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that my brother and sister are still alive. I'm sorry that I have the complete set, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's you, asshole. Shit. I, I didn't mean. What, what do you need from me? I need someone to stay up with me, to keep me company, to keep me awake. I tried pulling an all-nighter last week and I fell asleep. And coughing my goddamn cell phone alarm just didn't help. I my listen. I, it, just for a night, just one night. It doesn't have to be tonight, any night. What good will it do? I won't be alone. Look, Michael, it, look. I can't. Of course you can. Of course you can. I'm sorry that you feel alone. Well, that isn't it at all. I'm sorry that you feel alone then. The, the thing is, I, I do. Look, Michael, it, it can't be me. What would Devin say? Devin? Don't. You said she wouldn't, so don't. Hey, Devin is a reality. Four fucking years is a reality. Devin is real. He cares. It, he wouldn't like it. He doesn't know you're here right now, does he? No. You're lying to him. She does like you. Fuck you! Where does he think you are? Does it matter? Yes, yes, it matters. God oh, damn it. It shouldn't. Where does he think you are? You can't talk to me like that anymore. We're former, remember? You owe me. I don't owe you shit. So crass? You weren't always so crass. Well, maybe I have grown up a little sick. Where does he think you are, Kelly? Where does he think you are, Kelly? Where does he think you are? Hey, hey, all right! He thinks I'm in a meeting. You're going to AA. Of course I am. Of course you are. Did you think that I could quit on my own? There are other people who could. Maybe there are other people who are strong enough, but they aren't me. They aren't. Meetings help. I'm not a religious person. That, that's still true, but 
Meetings help. I need them. Help. You're going to AA. Yes. But you wouldn't do it for me. Michael. Get out. I, I, I don't need you. Get out. Michael. Get out. Fine. So you want to be melodramatic more. Now, I'm not playing this game anymore. Goodbye, Michael. Don't ever call me again. I won't. Get out. No more midnight phone calls. No more texts. No more voicemails. No more anything. I, I don't have it. <laughs> Nothing. Not anything. Just leave me alone, okay? Please, Michael. It, it's for your own. Get out! Like this. Once upon a time, and 
not so long ago, I was quite, quite capable of formulating sentences, a set breadth and weight woven through with the appropriate artistic phrases, the syntax so sparkling, it left people breathless. This is not my group. <laughs> trying to, what I really want to say is, of course the memories are mine. I created them. I created them primarily by myself. And I don't want to leave this place. I want to stay here. I don't know if you can understand, I mean truly understand how to feel about the home you built unless you've done it by yourself. And I feel as though I built this home. I know that sounds ridiculous. I know you don't have to tell me. I know. But I feel as if I've hefted each block of stone, hoisted it over my back, dragged it down a rock coast to an awaiting ship, then crossed an ocean of darkness and light until I reached a place I could call home eventually then hurled the stones over the ship one by one and dragged them again and arranged them as I saw fit, lovingly, tenderly, placing them stone and mortar and more mortar and more stone, lovingly, lovingly. A cornice here, a ledge, a cunning kind of little window rounded like a porthole or sweeping and dramatic, reaching for the Guy, so that the faces that peer through it look so, so tiny. And I feel as if I've built this home for myself, by myself. When I travel, as Veronica has taught me to travel, here. Perfect version of my home. Untroubled. <laughs> Only me and the memories of the time I spent here. It is never too warm or too cold. <laughs> There's never any dust here, not like this. There's no room or time for fear. I moved in despite Michael's protestations. And I lived here quite comfortably for 20 years. I deserved it. After 35 years working hard every day, I was proud of myself. So, so proud. It wasn't easy. And if they tell you it was easy, they're wrong. I graduated from pharmacy school in 1965. I was the only woman in class of 34. I wasn't one of a few women. I was the only woman. They used to say, they, they, they thought, what she really wanted was to be a nurse. As if I didn't know my own mind. They would say that. They would joke. They would laugh. They would laugh. They would touch me and, touch me and joke. And... I worked at Harlan's drugstore for 35 years, five days a week, sometimes six. And Mr. Harlan. He respected me in the end. Bet your life he did. <laughs> Married. Two children. I took no time off. No time off. And when they came, waited more than 10 years to have them. I didn't want to. 
Gregory insisted, and eventually I gave in. I've never said that out loud before. Did you know? I'm so proud of him. I should tell him that more, I suppose. Gregory always said, he knows. Don't worry, Ruth, he knows. Well, what if he doesn't know? Oh, my God. Did I tell Brian? Oh my God, did I ever? Did I ever tell Brian? Is it getting dark? Is it getting dark? Has the darkness come? Has it? No, 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 it doesn't get dark here, it doesn't get dark. Why is it so goddamn dark in here? It can't get in. 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 It can't. Extraneous dishes alone for too long. 
Though to be fair, it isn't my business. Ruth. I did promise to help, which I didn't actually do in the end. It just goes <laughs> on and on. And on and on and on. Oh my. You do bring out the tears in me, boy. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. It's nice to know I can still cry after all this time. It's been years, haven't it? Four. Mm, three since I... Three since you uh, went west. Went west? <laughs> no. no. Idiotic garbage. Nonsense. Shit. What does it even mean? I don't know. It's just something my father used to say when people... Well, you know. <laughs> okay. Since you went to your reward. <laughs> Shuffled. Uh, joined the Invisible Choir? <laughs> Cross the Rainbow Bridge. That's okay. <laughs> Shuffled off this mortal coil. Shakespeare, that's better. I had it underlined here once. Let's see. Uh -huh. See? Very nice. <laughs> when I told you the dead do feel the passage of time, and so it is true. Jeez, it is, isn't it? Well, so much larger. Um, the patient. It is a raptor, after all. <laughs> Look, there's another metal arc. So there is. A and another one. How very They're driving the Oscar away. So it would seem. They won. They kicked its murderous ass. <laughs> You're voting for the metal marks. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Why? What do you mean? Well, are you always on the side of the weakest of things? The weakest? I'm not. Oh, okay. All right, maybe I am. So what? <laughs> why? I mean, really, why automatically? Automatically side with the helpless birds, though they're supposed to be? Supposed to be? Well, at least compared to that monster soaring on high above them. I mean, should I side with the offspring? Do I automatically take the side of the underdog? They don't appear to be underdogs or underbirds, do they? I mean, look at them. They work together. They batted it. They beat the shit out of it. That's not supposed to be possible, but it happened. They attacked the monster together. They drove her away. That's how it's supposed to go. Yes, teamwork makes the dream something something. Work. Teamwork <laughs> makes the dream work. So it would seem. You're bored? How are you bored? Am I? Oh my god. Exactly. Tell me what you see, Han. The. The osprey is. is turning. And it's wheeling about in the sky. Attackers are pieces, just, just pieces now falling from above, slashed into chunks now, half devoured high up there, all oh, an excess of feathers and one little foot just spinning <laughs> down and down. Holy shit! Hmm. Oh, what? Don't cry. Don't carry on. It would have just come back and come back and come back again and again until it had gotten them. Teamwork is a lovely notion, but it isn't the answer to everything. Where are we? Why are there birds? You're the traveler here, not I. Oh, I forgot. None of this is real. Oh, it's nothing but real. See? That is some crazy advanced kind of meditation. <laughs> If that helps you, then sure, sure it is. I should call my sponsor when I'm uh, done. I mean, he wouldn't believe me no matter how much I... What? Well, you may never be done. That's a scary thing to say. <laughs> you may never leave this place. Stop being scary. You, you were never scary before. Death changes people. 
No, it doesn't. <laughs> Death is the end. It's the stopping point. There isn't any any more. There is no changing. And besides, I already told you that I don't believe in life after. You're boring me. Let me go. Okay, you can go. <laughs> you are funny. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm told constantly throughout my life how very funny I am. God damn it! Well, you needn't be crude. <laughs> right, fine. Fine then, you batshit crazy witch bitch crazy bitch! Oh, I don't know if I'm imagining this whole experience or if it's all real or some stupid hybrid. How oh, very broad-minded of you. I brought myself here for a reason. I mean, I must have done this for a reason. Did you? I just thought maybe I could help. So did I. So did I. Even Michael. Yes? I, I didn't like the way things ended. He was so angry at God, cruel. No, there is a streak of cruelty in that family. There's more to it than that. You know, you knew them. What are you trying to say? That they're bad people? They're, they're not bad people. I no longer know what that means. And besides, he, he had them. They usually do. I was. I am an alcoholic. I lied to him. I hurt him. And I wouldn't stop. He thinks that I didn't love him enough to stop, but he, he just doesn't know. Shit. That's lovely, but mostly irrelevant. You aren't here to sort out your own dull and depressing little problems, are you? Not. <laughs> well, you better get some ready, Miss Hazel Friend. This is a dangerous place, ultimately. What? Do you think it would be easy? What is that? Well, what does it look like, you fool? Put it down. Oh, but it's my dinner. The day I have to eat two of you. No!
and there's nothing we can do. You're sure? I'm only sure of my current view. Of the meat I hold in my hands. Everything else is gossip. Fancy tonight and day. Things. Starve on hypotheticals. Fuck this, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see you. I don't see any of you. Stop looking at me. Please. Please stop looking at me. I just, I'm trying to get home. Please stop looking at me. What is that? Oh, it's out there. Do you hear it? Tell me you must. Where is it? God damn it, tell me where it is. Why won't any of you help me? Ruth! God! I... Oh dear, I didn't need the pictures. I saw the thing myself. Right. Right. God, Ruth, I wish we would have believed you right from the start. 
I know, dear. We could have maybe. I don't know. There was no other way. This was the way. It's yeah. The only way. Yes. So, uh, no, no. This was the way. Do you hear me? This. There's no changing it. Do you know that I once spent an entire summer reading novels? One hesitates to call them books. Novels on time travel. <laughs> More ways to travel. I thought it was so amusing at the time. I'd do it. <laughs> Who hasn't wanted to do something so, so exciting, so impossible? We all want to change things. Yes. Events, moments, maybe, times in our lives when. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh, I, Kelly, I'm sorry. There, see? Moments like that. Imagine if we were allowed to do that in time and space. And, and physics? Yes. <laughs> if the forces of time and space and Jesus and Buddha and physics allowed for that, <laughs> think of the mess we'd make. <laughs> Even more than the messes we already create without worrying about do-overs. Ruth, I... I don't... I, no. Don't say it. Please. Don't. I know. Look, Ruth. You can fight this thing. Oh? But I'm not out. Veronica? Maybe... Maybe it was me all along. I've discovered that there is much more out there. Much more than anyone even knows about. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. Shakespeare. Veronica would be pleased. <laughs> oh yes, trust me, she would. <laughs> it's a fine line, Hughes, I've discovered. By wise characters and speculative fiction of a specifically horrific bent used to open the eyes of other blinder characters to the great unknown. It's the unknown that terrifies, of course. I'm terrified of things that I know. <laughs> Look, Ruth, you can fight back. Hmm, I can. It matters now. Mm, it mattered then. It matters again. <sighs> Cotton candy fillers, candy windows. Ruth, it matters again. I'm beginning to believe that. Look, Ruth, if it attacks you, you attack back. And you want to help me? Yes. No, Peter. You have to let me help you. I know you want to. Of course he does us, but we can't. But we're on a Shut up, Kelly. Bring this together, Mom. I know. I know, I know you want to help, but you can't. Therefore, I set you free. No. I release you. Don't be ridiculous. I am ridiculous. I'm an old woman. We're allowed. Michael, listen, <laughs> please, please, please. Listen, this is my house. Mine. I made it. I built it. I constructed it all by myself. And I was so proud. It's small, I know, but it was perfect for me. I made my grandmother's donuts in this kitchen. I wrote a short story at this table and a few poems. <laughs> I painted a dreadful picture of a horse and sunset over there by the window. <laughs> and when the time came to defend my house, when that time but finally came, and I bolstered. Do you know how that makes me feel? You don't have to do it alone. But I have them for years. That isn't fair. I would have. I'm not interested in fairness right now. I've never tried to spare you any pain. Maybe that was wrong of me, but I won't start today. You have to leave me alone. You have to. We're taking you out of here tonight. No, you're not. Oh, yes, right. That thing is coming back tonight. Again. It will. And you can't face it all by yourself. But I have been for years. Oh! Well, uh, look, it's, it's, it's getting dark. I tried that already. You stay out of this. You both stay out of this. 
You can stay with me until we find you a place. Perhaps later. Come with me. I will leave this place, as I said, when I am ready. Oh, my God. I'm not to be reasoned with. If you touch me, I will scream. Huh? I will scream, Michael. My voice will be heard. It will not be a joke. And they will come running. There's a nice young couple currently occupying Veronica's apartment. If I scream, they will come. I can't just leave you here. You have no choice. I think it's time for us to go. I don't know you, you don't exist. It doesn't matter. Dollface, go. Come on. You're not the boss of me. <laughs> I think our part is to leave her here. Mom? Mom? Mama? Please? Please? Please don't do this. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. Don't do this. I don't wish do you would cry. But I can't very well put them back into your eyes. Convince them to turn around and slide right back up into your tear ducts. No, 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 I won't go, I won't go, I won't go. I don't have to. If you stay, it will kill me. It may very well kill me anyways. But your presence here will make it a certainty. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> you too, huh? Oh, God damn you, Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, Dolphys. Goodbye, Dolphys. Goodbye, Kelly. Goodbye, Ruth. You are a bad bitch. <laughs> referred to as a bitch, but never a bad one. <laughs> You're the baddest bitch I've ever met. <laughs> I will see you on the moon. I will see you on the moon. chose that music because you knew I hated it. The cacophony, the drums, the drumming of the human heart, like a <coughs> nightmare I used to have, still have, since childhood. The absolute pounding of the drums, the so steady and distant, like the like the sound of blood being drawn through miles and miles and miles of blue veins. Like the relentless, like the tide, like the crashing of the surf. God, I can still hear the pounding. <sighs> you knew exactly how to scare me. Rock music. <laughs> <laughs> Not the rock music that I remember from, let's say, 
all those years ago. I don't remember the guitar sounding so, so feral. <laughs> but I suppose that was also a part of your plan. You know me so well. You think you know me so well. We figured it out. Doesn't matter. Does it? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Does it? <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> I figured it out. I could have met anyone. Anyone at all. For years, I thought, why me? What did I do? And then I decided, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> at all. <laughs> and then I decided, <laughs> come, come. <laughs> I'm 83. I'm not dead. I'm not dead yet. Come. Oh, there you are, aren't you? Oh, you poor, 
Have your waters in your watering place. Drink and be whole again beyond conclusion. See? Right there. Your waters, your watering place. It's poetry. It's frost. You look alive. <laughs> <laughs> Drink and be made whole beyond conclusion. Didn't they tell you that? Didn't you know? Didn't you know? <laughs>